Hello everyone, it's Lavanya once again with the next song in Munmai Velakkam. The running number is seventh song. The earlier songs that we were discussing was relating to the five elements or the Panjabhutas. The Guru, while answering the uh, disciples' questions, he started with the Panjabhuta and he's talking about what are the form or the shape of uh, basically how how is the what is the form of the Panjabhuta and in the next song he was also talking about what are the vibrational sound related to it and uh, also we were uh, discussing about the color in today's song we are going to talk about the next element which is going to be the representations for these Panjabhutas how do we represent them? What are the representational symbols related to it? So the seventh song goes this way. Kuri Kulisam, Koganadam, Kual, Kol Suvati, Kundra Arupulli, Ar Amuda Vindu, Pirivindri, Man, Punal, Ti, Kal, Van, Mannum Adaive, Yendri, Won Pudala, Pudalva, Agamam Odum. Respectively, the five elements like earth and then water and then fire and then air and finally Akash, which is the space. These five has a representation symbol as for earth it is called as Vajram or Vajrayuta. This is a very old name for one of the symbol. It will uh, look like something like a diamond, three diamonds put together in a stem. If we can visualize a, a four-sided like diamond, four diamonds put together in a stem, that is how the Vajray, Vajrayuta or the Vajram will look like. So, Kuri Kulisam, Kulisam means Vajram. And the Kulisam is the representational symbol for earth. The next one is water. Water is represented with lotus flower. A symbol of lotus flower represents water. The next one is fire element. Fire element is represented with swastik. Swastik is a very old symbol also usually used for meditational aspects and this is a very very uh, important symbol lord ganesha is represented with uh, with this particular symbol usually when you when we worship lord uh, ganesha the elephant god it is usually represented with swastik the next one is air air is represented with six dots Either it can be in the straight line or three uh, dots and adjacent uh, next to it, the next line, you can have three dots. So, it's, it's taken in two layers or a single layer, but end of the day, there must be six dots. So, the six dots are, represent, uh, are the representational symbols for air. And the next one is Akash, which is nothing but the space. That is represented with a symbol, something similar to water droplets. So when the water droplets are coming in, it will be a little bit like a curvy shaped, but and the corner, one of the corner will be a little bit uh, sharp. So that is the symbol that we are representing when it comes to the water droplets basically, right? That is the symbol used for Akash. So these are the uh, five symbols or the representations that will be used for the Panjabhutas. That is what your seventh song is talking about. You see this once again, Kuri, Kuri means symbol. Kulisam, Koganadam, Kolsuvati, Kundra Arupulli, Ar Amuda Vindu. These are the five which is going to be representational symbols for the five elements respectively. This is how he is explaining. Now there is a lot of uh, inner meaning for these symbols which we will be discussing in, a, in the later uh, audios. For now we will just stop with the symbol representational symbols alone. We will attach one of the picture as well. You will be able to see how the, the picture will look like as in what are the uh, symbols and how it will look like. So just for our visualization purpose, we will have one picture as well. So I will come back again with the next song. Until then, bye-bye.